am Gloria from Empowered by Energy. Everyone has heard of the phrase fight, flight, freeze, and many people will think of this in terms of stressful emotions, but what most people don't understand is how it can affect your immune system. Triple Warmer is a meridian, but it is also a system that governs our fight, flight, freeze response, as well as the immune system and the adrenals. It also works together with the hypothalamus, which is the body's thermostat. When in balance, this system saves our life. It is our protector. It will do anything it needs to in order for us to survive, even if it means taking energy from one organ and giving it to another. So let me say that again. Even if it means taking energy from one organ and giving it to another. If this goes on for too long, this can result in compromising your immune system. So if you've suffered from um, cold hands and feet, or you've been unable to regulate your body temperature, um, uh, if there's any kind of an issue with um, addictions, um, autoimmune or immune uh, diseases, um, chronic muscle tension, adrenal exhaustion, um, psychological issues, diabetes, these are all um, signs of an imbalance in the triple warmer system. So uh, also allergies, you know, a lot of people will start with maybe one or two allergies and then all of a sudden they seem to be allergic to just about everything. That is a result of this system being imbalanced. So the fight, flight, freeze response um, becomes activated when there is a perceived or real threat of danger. Now, in ancient times, this would be running from a tiger. But today, this system is hypervigilant to the dangers around us continuously. In our modern world, our bodies have to adapt to chemicals, pollutants, environmental changes, work stresses, energies produced by technological devices that may be harmful to the body, and information overload, which is available 24-7. This system is overworked. It will react to everything as a threat. So let me give you an example. Dust is a danger to the lungs and the respiratory system will cough and sneeze to keep the excessive amounts of dust out. When allergic to dust, triple warmer will note the respiratory system's upset reaction. Soon dust has to be avoided. Triple warmer sends an alert out to the body. Now, you can get dust on the skin or the hair that may start to register as dangerous. Now, dust is toxic to the immune system, but it is not, and that's a normal response, but it is not normal if it's on the skin or the hair and it's registered as dangerous. This is a result of an overactive system. Another example is sleep. We all need a good night's sleep for our bodies to heal. In the pain management video, I spoke about meridians, and again, triple warmer is a meridian. There is a 24-hour cycle on the clock, and each of the 12 meridians has a two-hour period where they get their high fuel time. Triple warmer's high time is 9 to 11 p.m. at night. So if we don't wind down during that time period, it thinks we need an extra burst of energy, and it sends that out. And then what happens, you're up for hours and you're unable to sleep. So it's very important to try to wind down during that time period. And I know it's very difficult to relax when you have a lot of stress, but do try to make it a priority, especially during this time period. So one of the things that you can do is get off the computer, um, don't look at your iPad, uh, stop checking your phone, uh, try not to talk to people on the phone uh, after nine o'clock, um, maybe not watch the news late at night, um, dim your lights, and try to kick back. So when we are under prolonged stress, the fight, flight, freeze response gets activated. So the more that we can follow what our body needs, the stronger our immune system will be. So I'm gonna show you a very quick and easy way that you might not have even thought about that might calm down this fight, flight. So one of the things we like to do is bring up the joy um, or also have feelings of safety for this system because triple warmer is all about feeling safe. So um, color is something that uh, triple warmer actually doesn't react to. 
and, and it can bring a lot of joy to us and it can change and make a shift in our energy system. So let's say um, you're needing to feel more relaxed. You might want to have blue. Blue is considered to kind of be a relaxing color. Of course, it's all individual. Um, maybe you might need uh, a little bit of purple in there. And maybe you might need a straight color purple. And notice again how the color reacts against the skin and the tone. Here's a green. So maybe you need to be outside a lot. You know, maybe you're not getting enough outdoors. Uh, maybe you need a little sunshine. And again, notice how it reacts against the face. Orange, if you need uh, a little extra energy, you're feeling very lethargic. And here's a red, if you feel like you need to claim your power back. So these are things to just play with. If you think about it, um, we pay a lot of attention to uh, what colors we choose, what t-shirts we like, and what we put on, how we paint our house, what color we pick our car, um, how we do our makeup or our hair. So um, color is a vibration and it does affect your energy. So this is something that you can try. Maybe you've been wearing the same color for too long and you're kind of in a rut. Put on a different color, see how your body reacts. And people will also react differently to you as well as you could see how the color shifted around um, my skin tone uh, to try. So give it a shot, see how it works for you. I hope you've learned a little bit about the fight, flight, freeze. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.